we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Lord, Almighty Father, we believe that you're a Father of forgiveness. As long as we confess, we believe we'll be forgiven. At this time, may we have a new start. May we receive solutions from our past hurts. May we receive freedom from our past curses. At this dawn, may we become a blessed man. May our dark families change to light. May our children within peace live singing praises. May we be known as families of happiness and peace, and through our lives, may we receive the blessings of being witnesses. We believe that we will surely become patriots. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. The Apostles' Creed, may you freely say it. So Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15, let's find that. So if you go inside of Christ, you become a new person. You look at people who don't do well, they think that they're the person of yesterday. Oh, yesterday I had this bad relationship. And they have that heart. They hold on to that heart. So God's like, okay, well, just like you had the curse yesterday, you'll have the curse. I'll give you the hurt. You know, you receive these curses again. So in Christ, you're a new person, but you keep going outside towards the the curses and not doing well. So I'm someone who does well. This dawn, I'm a new person. I, so if you have the heart, oh, I'm someone who does well, That's that's all you have to do. No matter how much you try to change that heart, some religions, they try so hard to empty their heart. It doesn't work. There's a lot of people. There are a lot of people on this earth. And, you know, these are amazing times. But amongst all those people, a man's food, this word, there's hardly anyone who knows this. Why is it that these days there's these, there, are, there are so many fake churches? If you knew that this word was your food, you know, people who talk about a Bible verse and then talk about how some philosopher said this, some philosopher said that. So people, tr they try to be smart. They try to live, you know, well. You know, they, there are all these good books, but the best of all books is God's Word. Where is this recorded? Yes, Isaiah is right too, Isaiah, but that's not where it says. In Isaiah, it says, read the book carefully, read this book carefully. Not that. Where does it say? This is the best of books. So even though you're given all, all these things, you know, it's useless because you don't have an address. You don't have an address where you can relay this treasure. In this world, no matter how many phones, if you don't have a phone number, then that phone is just a product, but it's actually not a working phone. Because you always live like this, nothing works out. Even if it's just one thing to make it mine. You know, in, in these tapes, to know one thing properly. For example, even this one finger, to, to know how to pick your nose properly with that one finger. But you're neither this, you're neither that, you're nothing. And then you just wander around. Well, I'm not doing well. You know, if you're not doing well. So if you could at least make noodles properly, you could at least sell that. But you can't do this, you can't do that properly. So you're not a witness, you make yourself not do well, and you make others not do well. Don't become someone like that. Why is this? Because you have the wrong heart. Let's read together. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. So you, if you see those people who don't do well, they don't go the way toward blessings. They go toward the wrath. That's the problem. In life, there's only two ways. One way, which is blessings, and the other way is to receive wrath. Let's read again. 
See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. Oh, but this is the Old Testament. Testament. Well, even though it's the Old Testament, it says today, it's being put in front of you today, this dawn. You look at people who don't do well, they always have this heart. A heart of where you don't do well, a filthy heart. You know, if someone comes and says, oh, I'm a bad person, you have to go lower, but you don't want to. Wherever you go, you always act as if you're better. That's someone who's the worst cursed person. Why is it that whoever I meet for the first time, why is it that I say, I am the worst person, I am the most ignorant? How can you greet someone like that from the very beginning? If I did this as a show, that's a fake. But it just comes out naturally because I'm a sinner. I can, you have to be able to cons- confess that. That's when the truth is inside of you. But not one person does this. If, if, if someone says you're a bad person, you get upset and you, you start to complain. How thankful is this? What's the whole Bible? It says, this is your sin. That is your sin. What is love? It teaches you your sin. But you hate your sins being pointed out and, in the, and, the, and you allow the disasters and curses. And then you say, why, why am I like this? What is in front of me? Is it in the Old Testament? No, today. It's in front of me today. Let's read again. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. You keep getting wrath in your family, disasters. It's because you're going the way of death. Even now you go that way. What does it say at the beginning? It says, see. You have to look properly, but your eyes have to be open. Let's find Matthew. So because your eyes aren't opened, you can't see the blessings that are being placed in front of you. And instead, you take the disasters and curses. You say, why don't I do well? That's the way you keep going. And you say, oh, pastor, it must, you know, you say the ancestor sins come down. That's what must have come to me. Yes, they come. But in Christ, it disappears. So you can't grumble against your, your ancestors or society or the government. If you grumble against your parents or, or the government, whatever grumbling, God will kill you. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. Why sit there doing that? What does it say here? So blessings and water in front of you. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. Let's go back to that. So it's blessings and wrath. So it doesn't just end with one thing. Let's let's read again. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. So life and water together. So you know. So if you want to receive blessings, you have to go the way of life. That's how you receive them. And wrath, what is wrath with? It's it's the, it's with being ruined. So if you go the way of being ruined, you continue to receive disasters and wrath. So if you're inside of wrath, difficulties, if you are a Pharisee, Sadducee who deserves wrath, you're someone who scorns the word. So if you're someone who's receiving wrath, what is that this together with? Death. So what is death? You'll die. So if you slander others, that is death. So people who do that, that's all death, the death the sentence. But you can't distinguish what a church is and you just go anywhere to these denominations. You go the way to die and then you say, oh, I'm dying. Why live like that? Those with demons, it's like with like. They, they, they're with other demons. That's Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Those people will never hear the words of the wise because we said this yesterday, because they're foolish. So Matthew chapter 13, verse 14, let's find that. Who is the most bad person in front of God? Someone who acts as, they hear the word, they act as if they know it, but they don't act it. That is someone who is detestable. Titus chapter 1 verse 16, that is the worst evil. So it's these fakes who can't change to actions. They always sit there 
they don't they can't make the lord's word theirs and they sit there going well are you going to give us anything else that fake they're not a church god they're not a saint and so they don't do well they can't fix any of their filthy actions they can't give profit profit at all to anyone why live so stupidly and going the way of ruin matthew chapter 13 verse 14 15 16 in their case the prophecy of isaiah is being fulfilled which says you will keep on hearing but will not understand you will keep on seeing but will not perceive for the heart of this people has become dull with their ears they scarce scarcely hear and they have closed their eyes otherwise they would see with their eyes hear with their ears and understand with their heart and return and i would heal them but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear amen these people who are so un- not blessed so if you don't have blessings what do you have you have wrath and you have death there's two types of things in front of you one is blessings the other is death curses wrath there's only two things but amongst those two things so receiving blessings is what it's to live it's to rece- receive eternal life so so all of those things are tied up in those in those two two ways if you want to do more well and go to heaven or you receive blessings otherwise if you receive curses you receive wrath that's the pharisee who hears the word but doesn't act on it it's so pitiful it's so it's so sad. so the blessed man has to see and hear so why is it that you can't see and hear it's your heart your heart is the problem why why do you let those filthy things remain in your heart so you if you go down in Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 what does it say it records the sins of the heart in Matthew chapter 15 verse 19 you look at those people that don't do well because they have those sins what happens if you have the, if you have those sins then demons stick but they don't even know this and they go to these fake churches and that's why they can't say amen if you have demons that's a beast that is perishing god is the most is is the creator So if you can't say amen to God's word it's because you have demons. If you can't say amen you'll receive disasters and curses. You're the worst of evil. That is a gathering that is going to hell. So if you can't say amen you have to know that person is evil. Why are they sitting here? If you have anything to do with them they'll try to deceive you and bezzle you. So their actions are fake and then they they're like why don't I do well? well your heart is evil. So you have to get rid of the sins of the heart. You have to get rid of the sins that hate to keep God in your heart. So is that person good or not? You look at these idiots who say, "Oh, that's a good person." How can that be a good person? You know how you know how many idiots are in our society? People who send money to that person that cut off cut off that person's finger. They say, "Oh, the father's bad, but the son's good." You know what? The children are worse than the parents. Where is that? 2 Peter 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 13. If the father has 100 bad things, well, children they add their own to that. So if the father is a small thief, the fa- the son is a is a big thief. So how can you say the son is is praiseworthy? But to not know this and then to help them, these beasts, if you're helping them, you're a beast that is perishing. You know monkeys, if you if you see the animal kingdom on TV, If a monkey's being bitten by a crocodile, do you know how much the other monkeys try to help them? They pull until their arms, you know, are pulled out. And so yes, they save this this monkey where it's lost its leg. It seems like human affection, but you're a beast. How can that how can that be a man? That's that's a beast. So you don't know what's right or wrong. That's what Korean society is. So the world looks at Korea and says it's strange. I mean, are they beasts? They they've learned the most in the world and yet they're so crooked. Why do we live like this? Because we don't fix our hearts. What is it that God helps at dawn? It's our hearts. How? So that we'll become a new man. Why is it you don't receive this help and you want to take those that wrath again? When God says to receive help at dawn, you have to receive. You know, if you don't receive help, is there anything that works out? There isn't. 
So uh, every person has to receive help, and we have to go inside of Christ to receive it. So to confess our sins, and inside of there, God will help us. Why is it you can't change your heart, but you always live like that? Why do you receive problems and wrath? It's because you don't change your heart. So have a look. If you go east, let's say there's landmines. They're going to explode. You'll die. So this heart that was going east, but to go this other this other way where it's a field of flowers to go west. Then all you have to do is go west. So you just have to change your heart. But it's because you can't change your heart. Oh, someone like me. Why am I so unfortunate? Well, then don't go that way. Change it. Why keep going that way? Oh, but my heart won't change. Well, that's because you still have the demons inside of you. You're not inside of Christ. So if you go inside of Christ, you have to do four step repentance to go inside of Christ. So if you do four step repentance, then your heart changes. So if it changes all this time that you didn't do well, this dawn you go the way to do well, the way to be healed for you and your children to do well. At this time, straight away change it. The sins of our heart. It's because of these sins that we don't do well. Even though we hear, we don't know. Even though we see, we don't know. So Matthew chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. I'll read it. In their case, the prophecy of Isaiah—that's Isaiah chapter six, verse nine—is being fulfilled, which says, "You will keep on hearing." So many people hear the Bible, but will they? They can't understand Psalm chapter forty-nine, verse twenty. So if you can't understand, then out of the beast, you're a beast that is perishing. And that's why you keep receiving disasters and curses. You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but you won't know, because you don't have the knowledge that God gives. So, because you do things with worldly knowledge, you keep saying the wrong things. Verse fifteen: For the heart of these people has become dull. It's because our heart has become hardened. Because people don't know that 24 hours a day sin comes from their heart. These fake churches, because they don't know this, that's why they have nothing to repent of. So if you've eaten, well, what do you have to do with your dish? So you know, even knowing how to wash your dish, that which is a dog pee, but you don't know how to wash your heart. That is a beast that is perishing. So, you know, of course, that you have to wash your dish after your meal. So, if you've eaten, then you have to wash your dish. Even if no one tells you, you know, you have to wash that dish. If you're a man, that's what you do. A beast just eats. So, if you know that washing your dish is is obvious, well, a man is someone who eats the word. That's Matthew chapter four, verse four. But fakes, they don't eat the word. Oh well, we look at the Bible. In the morning and in the evening. Well, why don't you wash? What kind of dog bowl is it that you don't wash it? Why don't you repent? It's so sad, and that's why you receive disasters and curses. You keep going the way of of death, going to hell. God, He tries to block that, and that's why you're receiving wrath. Why do we have to live like that? Even though we're being taught from today, let's change this. So, verse fifteen. For the heart of these people, so you and I were all the same. So has become dull. With their ears, they scarcely hear. No matter how much they hear this mystery of God, demons can't hear it. What is the mystery of God? They can't even answer. And yet, if they're being told this, they can't understand. How can that be a church? That's a gathering of demons, a gathering where they will receive disasters and curses. Why do you live like that? With their ears, they scarcely hear, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they would see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and return. So they're afraid that they will be healed, and I would heal them. So demons, they don't come here to hear God's word. John chapter eight verse forty-seven. They only go around listening to worldly things, demon things, and gather as as dog packs. That's why, you know, and and that's what's so、um, regretful. You know, you're told to receive blessings. Why do that? So, do we have to heal our ears and our eyes? What does it say, verse sixteen? But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. These people who so don't have blessings, you don't know how to see the blessings in front of you. You don't know how to hear God's word that's being told to you. 
So that's someone who is so unfortunate without blessings. That's the fake churchgoer. If you go to these fake churches and you tell them the Bible, you know, what is it that you learn to be the mystery of God? They don't know. So you're someone who is not blessed. So you'll receive disasters and curses. Your children will do worse than you. But they're afraid to be healed. You know, demons, they do strange things. So what am I like? God, who says he'll help you at dawn, what am I like in front of him? So what does God heal? He heals your heart so that your eyes and your ears will open. Why? So you can take all the blessings in front of you. Those people who say they're not doing well, it's because they don't heal their ears and their eyes. So the blessings that have been put in front of you, God's put blessings and death. You say you have the heart of, of wanting blessings, but inside the demons are afraid that you'll be healed. And that's why fakes, they can't come here. Demons, they come a few times and then they can't come. And then their excuse, you know what they say? Oh, the word seems good, but it's too piercing. It's too extreme. And so they say demon talk. You see the, their state, how they receive disasters and curses. These fake churchgoers, you see, all those houses have disabled people. They have these huge problems. And yet they say they believe in Jesus. What, what kind of Jesus is like that? He heals your eyes and your ears. If your eyes and ears are, are bright, you won't go to the bomb. You won't go to the drain. What's the straightest way to go to Seoul? You know, even if it's a straight way, can you go with your eyes closed? You have to open your eyes. So our heart has to be healed so that our eyes and ears are healed so that we are a blessed man. But the demons inside of us are afraid of this. And so these are the fakes that hate to hear this. You see those people who come from fake churches. If they're given the word, they hate to hear it. And they always say, do you have to do that? If you don't obey God's word, you're a demon. That's sin. John chapter 16, verse 9. So from today, let's have a right start. What help do we have to receive this dawn? Our hearts being healed. What happens if your heart is healed? Then your eyes and ears are healed. Then you become a blessed man. Then a thousand generations receive blessings. At this dawn, let's all receive this. Let's all receive this. And from today, let's only take blessings. Let's get rid of the disasters and curses. And with bright eyes, let's have a new start. Let's say to the person next to us, let's open our eyes and have a new start. Let's open our eyes and have a new start. Let's open our eyes and have a new start. How good is God? It's funny, other, other churches, if you hear something like this, you'll feel upset the whole day. But at Pusan First Church, it seems like you're being cursed, but you feel refreshed. You know, if you've got a lot of dirt on you, it may hurt when you scrub, but afterwards you feel good. You know, if you've got all this dirt, if you just splash with water, afterwards you feel stickier. If you're going to wash, you've got to scrub. So let's wash our hearts cleanly. What is in, What comes out from my heart? Grumblings, complainings, excuses, feeling saddened, getting upset. Oh, from, from dawn, you know, I'm trying to go to dawn service, but I see that filthy person. Why hold on to that? Wash it with the blood of Christ and let's make a new wine skin. So the blood of Christ, all those filthy things in my heart gets rid of it. Oh, pastor, I have this inner disease. Even that will disappear. With the blood of Christ, it all disappears. Oh, it's come down from my ancestors. I have this bad personality. Even that will disappear. Inside of Christ, it all disappears. So the blood of Christ, even now, is being shed for me. So let's close our eyes. The sins of our heart. First of all, the evil thoughts. 10,000 evils. So how tormented was my heart? These 10,000 th sins that are piercing me. Let's wash it all with the blood of Christ. Whatever sin, it will disappear. So as you wash this, if you keep washing this, then as your heart becomes at peace, whatever bitterness inside of your heart, if you keep washing with the blood of Christ, it will all become released. Oh, my youth. Oh, my teens. You know, I, I, was, I, I suffered because of him. 
If you just wash it, it's it's gone. Oh, that embezzler who took away all the money I saved. If you wash it, it's gone. Oh, that person ruined my business and made my family suffer. Oh, he deserves to die. If I find him, I'm going to get him. No, with the blood of Christ, it all disappears. Oh, but I don't have any money then. Well, take the blessings that have been put in front of you. As long as your eyes are open, the blessings are in front of you. Take them. So blessings of health and material blessings, all blessings at this dawn to make the mine. So let's keep washing our heart with the blood of Christ. You know, some people are like, oh, well, I only have evil from my heart. Well, that's 10,000 things. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. Even if we can't watch 10,000, let's wash what we can. And let's have our eyes and ears healed and let's all become blessed. May you and your children save the world. Why don't I have blessings? Open your eyes and take what's in front of you. Let's receive help this dawn. Let's keep washing with the blood of Christ. When my heart's clean, when I'm at peace, that's when your eyes have been healed. And the whole day to have that peace in your heart. John chapter 14, verse 27, the peace that God gives is different to the world. So let's have that peace overflow, that joy overflowing in my heart by continuously washing with the blood of Christ. Even just a moment ago, even if I was the worst robber, even if I was a prostitute, if you wash with the blood of Christ, it's finished. In in Christ, we're a new person. The past has nothing to do with me. Oh, but when I go home, I still have that past person there. Well, for you to see that person as a new person, let's have our eyes and ears healed. Let's call upon the Lord three times and cast out Satan. Let's wash thoroughly with the blood of Christ. Lord, Lord, Lord. Let's thoroughly wash with the blood of Christ. Father God, the filthy sins may be washed with the blood of Christ. Evil thoughts, murdering others, the thoughts of fornication, may we wash it all with the blood of Christ. And at this time to have a new start. Why don't I have joy? Because you're still tied up to demons. Because you still haven't healed your eyes and your ears. Because you're still tied up to your filthy sins. At this door, may we be healed of not having joy. We still have excuses and grumblings and filthy thoughts that we're tied up to. May we wash this all with the blood of Christ. And that, that the blood of the cross, that love where he died for me. Let's wash with that and only take blessings.